Hello, you're watching KC News with Anna Profit. Today in the news broadcast. The legitimate use of the resource or hacking, the attacks on the Dow loss, Express are commenting. Interbank payments and the fight against corruption and blockchain, smart contracts for the registration of ownership of the land, Bitcoin wallet for mobile devices, confident crypto movement at the state level. Adding pictures to the hidden messages in blockchain, what opportunity gives us cryptographic.info? More information about this and other events in a few seconds. Attacks on the DAO go on, the founder derived almost entirely. The unique investment project the DAO has been attacked again, this time in order to protect, according to the portal for clock.com, citing developer Ethereum brother Mist and one of the creators of the DAO, Alex Van de Sande. According to Van de Sande, Whitehead counterattack was necessary to protect the assets held by the DAO from held and following attacks. Counterattack allowed to drain about two thirds of the fund to the main account and about 3% to additional. There is no uniting expert's opinion in response to the question what the attacks on the DAO would entail. However, a variety of projections are lining up. Chris, a McCown representative, shared us his opinion. Hello, Chris. Hello, Anna. We would like to hear your expert opinion about the attacks on the DAO. However, the first question will be what the DAO is for you. DAO is the Decentralized Autonomous Organization. By initial design of the DAO, there may exist multiple organizations, all regulated by a smart contract in the blockchain, rather than the classic enforcement of law. Unfortunately, this attack on the DAO has shown us that autonomy based on smart contracts can be very vulnerable, and currently any dispute would tend to go to classic law resolution. In addition to that, it has also shown us that when the Ethereum team decided to create a fork and cancel the smart contract, that the very concept they are trying to implement, ruled by math, not ruled by law was undermined. Thank you. Your answer will be especially important for those who is beginning in the crypto world. As the expert, how would you command the attack on Adele? As I understand, the attacker found a vulnerability in the smart contract which allows him to be effectively rewarded for splitting the DAO into pieces. He began splitting and continued splitting until a large amount of Ethereum was drained from the DAO. Thereafter, the Ethereum team decided to invalidate and effectively cancel the contract by creating a system fork. If the attack has discredited DAO, then the idea and practical possibility of forking the smart contract system itself discredits Ethereum as well. Okay, so how do you protect Emercoin from enemies' attacks? Emercoin principally does not support smart contracts in the same style as Ethereum, since we consider this approach fundamentally vulnerable. We believe Turing-compatible script code in the blockchain opens the door for vulnerable or malicious contracts, which is the principal drawback of the system. For more details on that topic, there is an excellent interview with Oleg titled Ethereum vs. Emercoin. In Emercoin, we support only classic Bitcoin script with minimal name extensions running in the same framework. Security of this approach has been proven by countless attacks on the Bitcoin network and has been proven over several years. We consider this approach significantly more secure than the approach the Ethereum team has taken. It is important to note all of the Emercoin blockchain-based services are supported by external code and are stored and running outside of the blockchain itself. Thank you, Chris. We'll tell more about Emercoin in a few minutes. Ethereum representatives recommend Ether miners continue to work normally. In particular, the Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin writes in his post on the project blog. Complete reconstruction or change of the vector, Bitcoin Foundation elects new executive director. According to the official website of the Bitcoin Foundation, Luke Glass, a managing partner of Newton Partners, a market strategist and venture capitalist, became a new executive director. Glass emphasizes that the fund had a great opportunity to help the whole Bitcoin ecosystem. The next few weeks, the Theo plans to devote the development of the most successful plan of action, tells BitcoinFoundation.org. Digitization of the Canadian dollar in terrorist services or state movement in pace with the times. The Bank of Canada launched a pilot blockchain service and interbank payments. It's time to make our basic system more efficient and competitive, said Senior Deputy Governor of the Bank Carolyn Wilkins in her speech to Payments Canada in Calgary. Decentralized aspect of this application of the technology is why some predict 
that distributed ledgers could revolutionize entire industries. Some imagine a future in which state currencies have been replaced by decentralized digital currencies. I see this as highly unlikely. The project is codenamed Jasper and is designed for issuing storage and movement of assets of the central bank through the TED coin. Wilkin explained that the experiment does not involve the electronic version of the Canadian dollar release to a wide circulation. Now, the project developers are the Payment Canada, the Central Bank of Canada and New York Project R3, which is engaged in the blockchain development for financial institutions. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney announced the opening of the tender for blockchain companies. The main interest of the central bank regarding the blockchain is that with its implementation, the central bank will be able to strengthen the security of transactions and database integrity. English startup Caricoin announced the launch of social mobile wallet platform for residents of Caribbean islands. The application is designed for use Bitcoin and other e-currencies in the region where only 50% of the population use the bank services. Mobile wallet made in conjunction with security platform BitGo allows optimized relationships between senders and recipients. The government of Sweden reported on the testing, registration and accounting of land rights system based on blockchain. The solution involves technology Talia and developed by a Chromaway system of smart contracts that can be used with any blockchain to identify users, said Farclock.com. Using blockchain against corruption is tested in the United States too. According to Forbes, New America Research Center, the non-governmental organization the National Democratic Institute and blockchain company Bitfury launched Blockchain Accelerator intending to increase transparency in areas such as state administration, land registration and elections to legislative bodies. Are you looking for lucrative investment opportunities? Try cryptocurrency cloud mining service Hashflare. You will get high returns on your investment and will be able to withdraw your money at any time. You can start investing from as little as $3 and it has never been easier to generate returns with Hashflare. Sign up today at hashflare.io. Investor Tim Draper, best known for large-scale bitcoins buying in 30,000 coins, continues to buy bitcoin and now owns an Ether, according to Coindesk.com. In an interview, Draper said, Bitcoin will continue to lead because it had become the standard, but Ethereum and others will also have an effect on various verticals like smart contracts or bank transfers. <music> Cryptocurrencies are becoming increasingly popular. The first digital bank, WB21, in the official press release states its customers will be allowed to contribute Bitcoin account by the BitPay payment system. The payment system Camelot Pay accepts Bitcoin without fees and with direct withdrawal to the Visa card. So founder of Camelot Consulting, Azamat Kurbanov, is on the line with Studio. Hello, Azamat. Hello, Anna. What was the reason that you started the work with cryptocurrencies? Well, uh... Cryptocurrency right now is a new generation of payment option and our company believes it's a way that the, the financing has to be, supposed to be. Uh, if you look it up in the United States banks, uh, somebody write out a check to you, you have to go to the bank, you have to go to the teller, and the teller has to uh, match and see uh, if the signature is matching. Then it takes uh, several days to, for your funds to uh, appear at your account and plus uh, banks collecting a lot of private information like where you live, what your household is, how much you make, etc. Uh, we believe that the funding and payment option has to be uh, safe, secured and private. So what type of cooperation with cryptocurrencies do you provide today? Uh, from 2012 our company was working as a payment processing company. Uh, we've been hooking up uh, two different uh, type of businesses, online and offline businesses, to accept credit cards. Uh, since last year, we decided to start working on opening our own electronic wallet system called uh, Camelot Pay. Uh, Camelot Pay is an electronic e-wallet uh, where you can actually send the money 
uh, receive the money from your friends and family and also if you have a businesses like online store you can easily open a merchant account uh, using our platform and accept monies from your uh, customers and clients uh, besides that we created a product uh, called uh, Camelot Pay uh, Visa Debit Card. Uh, basically, we have a bunch of the a bunch of a uh, different type of uh, electronic wallet in our system, plus uh, cryptocurrencies, and you can easily uh, move the cryptocurrency uh, funds to your debit card, Camelot Pay debit card, and use it on daily basis for regular purchases and withdraw from the ATM machines. And what perspective do you see today in the further cooperation? Well, our, our perspective of, uh, about the cryptocurrency is very huge because we believe that it's a new generation of payment option. It's a new generation of uh, payment processing and it's a future that actually everybody would love it and people are waiting to be their funds secured, safe and plus the main thing it has to be private. So we believe it's a future generation of a payment option. Thank you, Azmat. Thank you so much, Anna. Bitcoin to Ethereum trade carries out Gemini Exchanger, owned by the famous twins Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, reports portalforclock.com referring the Daily Telegraph. The report said, buying and selling cryptocurrencies for dollars and pounds when they're implemented in the nearest future. The payment system in the real time. CamelotPay.com. Relations well. More than 600 cryptocurrencies exist today, each is unique. We begin a series of blade service of currencies. Today, the object of attention is Emacoin. Emacoin, leading cryptocurrency and blockchain platform, focusing on innovative services, founded on the 8th of December 2013. Capitalization – more than $5.5 million. Target – long-term work without failures and errors. Emacoin is also the name of the software open source on Turing-incompatible code that is already written on a variety of services, from a decentralization advertising link exchange system pay for click to passwordless login system and the Internet. Emacoin's blockchain participates in the system blockchain as a service, which was created by Microsoft for Azure. Currency uses proof-of-work and proof-of-stake mining. Cryptography SHA-256, like Bitcoin, goes to the joint mining of Bitcoin and Emacoin, merge mining. Links to mining pools and Emacoin wallet are under this video. Adding pictures to the hidden messages in blockchain about new web service cryptographic capabilities, writes portal news at bitcoin.com. Pictures can be no larger than 50 kilobytes. And as soon as the process of publication in blockchain is completed, no one on the planet will not be able to censor, remove or overwrite message left by users. It is all stored in blocks. Why Bitcoin cannot be called completely anonymous currency, we will describe in the next release. Also, you are waiting for expert commentaries why regulators shouldn't be afraid of using blockchain. This is all the news by this time. You can contact the editorial office by phone and email in the description below this video. Put the likes and subscribe to our channel to be aware of all the events. See you.